Hey, uh, come on, Luke. Walking backward for effect. Um, so here on Make It Perfect, our goal is to have a good time, get into some good, rich, deep stuff, use some paints on some paintings, collaborate, dig in, not bust your ass, maybe bust your ass. Also, um, we want to sell the paintings we make and then donate a portion of those sales to uh, charities worldwide. So if you're interested in any of the paintings that you see, that you see or have seen, uh, and you're interested in buying one or two or whatever, um, make it perfect show at gmail.com or you can hit us up on Instagram, which is make it, make it perfect show. Um, and that's it. So how did you get the tattooing, right? Um, I had been wanting to tattoo for a very long time, mm -hmm. and uh, I tried to get apprenticeships from about 19 to about 26. Oh, uh, I kind of gave up on that. Holy um, moly! And I just went on and just did other things. I constantly drew and painted. Mm -hmm. um, what you, What else did you do? You said automotive work. Uh, yeah, I worked cool. in a factory. That was the Got job it. that I had right before I started tattooing. I was work. I was building seats for Jeep. Okay. Jeep is up there. In, in Toledo? Toledo. Yeah. I didn't know Jeep. that. Yeah, all the oh, Wranglers man. and everything. I didn't, I didn't so I built the seats for the Jeep Wranglers. Nice Tired shit. of it, over it. Had wow. been doing that for about three or four years. Uh -huh. Second shift, 12, oh. or, excuse me, it was, yeah, 12 hours, 12 hours a day, and we would work 4P to 4A. Oh my God, dude. Never saw my friends, never oh, saw my wife, dude. and I was like, this has to, yeah. this has to change, you know what I mean? Yeah, I have to totally. Figure out my own shit. Totally. Um, and I went to the dude that had been tattooing me since I was like 19 years old and he wanted his own place. Mm -hmm. And I said, why don't you just teach me and I will build us a shop. Yeah. Thankfully, I had saved up plenty of money and could do that. <clears throat> and my wife, um, how long y'all been married? It'll be 12 years. Yeah. Same. Yeah. October Damn. 20th. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she literally built the shop. She did the framework, the drywall, what the in flooring, the world? everything. Yeah. When, and then uh, I did about a year to two, almost two year apprenticeship as, owning it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But not making any money off of it. So wow, putting that's all interesting. the money that I had into it, but not getting anything out of it other than the apprenticeship. A lot of people are, 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 are paying for apprenticeships or want, you know, the, the, the mentor is charging you for right, the apprenticeship, right. whether it be financial or just a ton of work. Right. And we built the shop. That's badass. Then, so yeah. God, that's um, like, that, that reminds me of like a, like paying your dues, like for real. Did you feel like that? I, I mean, it had to be, it seemed like it had to be like, do a number on your, on your mind a little bit while yeah. you were in it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it did. <sighs> because the good thing about it is like, I knew how to run business wise. You oh, know, okay. I knew how to run yeah. things, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm some other things that I had done before. Yeah. And, uh, but like as far as like the tattooing the aspect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as far as like the tattooing aspect, mm -hmm. I had no clue. So it was cool to see, obviously learning how to tattoo. Yep. 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 But difficult. Cause I knew I couldn't make some really cash. make anything, you know what I mean? Totally make, making do. anything. And I knew yeah. that there was a point where it would change and I could mm -hmm. make money, but mm -hmm. this, the part of the, the deal was still, you don't make money off of the shop. Right. I can finally start to make the small amounts of percentages that you can as an apprentice. Yep. Um, so it was a tough God, few years. Man. Thankfully, my wife um, was doing well, and, and she's brilliant. So saw the promise in it. Yeah, saw the promise in it. So and even even it, it calls me to this. Like, while you're in it, you're like, am I really? I would have the thought of like, am I really going to be able to do this? You know, like, yeah, th th I mean, that's yeah. trying to be empathetic to it, but totally. You know. And a lot of people thought I was nuts because good. As, as much as I hated the factory <laughs> life, you, you make good money. You Fair. Know? So yep. everybody was like, he's finally doing this, but, but that's that mindset up there, is. man. Oh, totally. You, you know totally. what I'm saying? Especially, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Like you, I, what I really want you to do is work in the factory, make $30 an hour, which is yeah. awesome. 
but you know, just have a stable job. But it's yeah. like something in me when I would hear that from like a stepdad, it's like, nah, 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 you know, like yeah. it bubbled up, you know? Oh yeah. And yeah. I feel like a lot of those people that do mm -hmm. bubble up, they wait a little too long until, yeah. they're, until they're so far into it that they just continuously stay. And not yeah. that it's just and those I get kind that. of jobs that create that kind of uh, thought process, yep. but. It's stability for sure. But are you, it but is. do you hate wait? Well, there's days now that I hate waking up, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I mean, in the, in the factory, thing. the alternative is yeah. much worse. Yeah. There maybe, you go. Maybe that's in a good way to say worse. that. <laughs> I'm just going to take this red here, this vermilion, mix it with this light gray. And now I have to step around the light gray. And I just kind of, I just kind of like, just get it going. Just make some, just make some marks. You know what I mean? That nub. Yeah, little newbies. Yeah, big ass brush. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I, this is like the kind of brush I would use for watercolor. And there you go. I don't even know how to do this these days. It's all good. I think that's kind of the. I love when we get into this, you know, this spot, and it's like. It, it mostly everyone says around the same thing. Like I don't even know what to paint. I think that's the best base place to be. Because I don't either. <laughs> So I've been painting the same damn painting on this show since it's, well, not true, not true. Yeah, I got a bunch of these over here that kind of look the same, but whatever. I'm trying to make it perfect, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you're working over there at Black 13? Yes. And Black 13 has been in the community for quite a while. How 11, long? 11 years. Oh, no joke. Yeah. Okay. I've been here nine. Good Lord. So you got in on the ground. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, at the time Very there was cool. only four people. Wow. And How I many guess, are there now? Uh, there's nine. Got it. And Got I guess it. when they started to expand mm -hmm. and hire more walking guys, mm -hmm. I was oh, the yeah. first walking guy that, cool. um, that got that gig. That's cool. Nine years. Who's uh, anybody? Um, well, this is kind of a dumb question, but I'm just going to ask it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it might any... be a dumb answer too. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Same plane. Any uh, famous folks that you've tattooed? Uh, yes, um, but I probably couldn't tell you who they are, not for like confidentiality <laughs> yeah. purposes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you really, I don't know. care. I, I don't know, that. and yes. I mean, um, you can say you don't care. I, too. I don't I care. That. Yeah, yeah that's um, so good. They'll tell uh, me, not necessarily them. It's not like sure, they're approaching sure. me and saying yeah. these things, but like the <gasps> the the counter people or or you know the boss might know who they are or something like yep. that. Um, and it's like, I'm just tattooing a body. Yeah. 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 And I mean, so that's good. the way I think of it. You know, it's stressful no matter who you're tattooing. Oh, really. for sure, man. Um, I couldn't imagine, dude. And, and you, you tattoo the, the same ideally, right? No matter who it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 What you yeah right. Yeah. yeah that's a good point. Trying not yeah. to screw anything up no matter who it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's, um, what's your, so what, what took you to the style of painting or I'm sorry. Well, that too. Tattooing? Yeah. Tattooing. Like, like how did your, uh, how did your, uh, apprenticeship shape how you tattoo oh. as far as style? As far as style. Or, or not, did it even? Not at all. Cool. Um, cool. <clears throat> I didn't have a, a traditional tattooer apprenticing me. He was more, I guess what you could call new school. Oh, okay. But Got yet it. I yeah. learned the uh, traditional you know, making needles and making ink mm -hmm. and tuning a machine. I learned all those like traditional approaches mm -hmm. in tattooing, but stylistically, I don't think I really figured myself out or if I even have until a few years after I got to black 13. And, cool, man. Um, I guess that's just a built around some of the people I was exposed to. And, mm. um, was there a moment it clicked for you? Like, oh, I can see my, my art developing here. Yeah. Cool. I think it was when I started to travel more and ah. people would, cause I started to paint huh. a lot. And then um, mm -hmm. when I was traveling, a, yeah. a lot of people were asking me for stuff that looked like my paintings, which I think is really weird in the tattooing cause some of my paintings kind are so opposite. loose. It's yeah. hard to create that lack of technical aspect in a yes. tattoo. Yeah. Um, but when somebody's asking you for that, you, Make it, happen. make it happen. Yeah, that's cool. That kind of became, um, I don't know, I guess if you want to say it's my, like the style that I do or what yeah. I've become known for or whatever. Sure. That's, but, that's uh, a reasonable way to say it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow. I, uh, you know, I, um, I, I'm trying to, I, I definitely found your work on Instagram, which I find a ton of like stuff that is of interest on there. 
Uh, is it momentary, some of it? Fuck yeah. Is some of it like, oh my God, that, that artist or person is something that I value. And so there's tattooers in town that I like and whatnot. And honestly, you know, people like what they like and I appreciate that. But I don't know, there were, I, I brought your name up over at uh, Gold Club when I was over there because sometimes I hang oh. out there. And um, hopefully it was received. Well. Oh, it was. I mean, every was damn kind of cool. one of them, dude. Yeah. Like, like, look, every one of them. Good. Every one of them. And rightfully so, especially Sean, man. And I, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I love showing your work to people when I refer you. to tattooers, you know? Yeah, you're totally welcome, man. It's, I really like those dudes. It's clean. Yeah, me too. I me think too. it's cool to, that in Nashville, mm -hmm. The majority of tattooers know each other yeah. and kind of support each other because that's good. Definitely growing up in the Rivalries. area that I grew up in, yeah. people didn't really appreciate the other shops. Totally. And I think it's cool now that everybody is starting to do that. Yeah, and like have these, what, these paint nights? That yeah. Real, that's real yeah. cool. I need to come to one of those Dude, at some point. We're, we're going to do another one here soon. Cool. Uh, we'll we try to do one like every six months. Yeah. Um, I think anything more than that for as many invites that we put out could be like overkill. Sure. But we did one in January, and I think we had about 60 or 70 No people. way, yeah. dude. Over at it the shop over at there? At the shop, yeah. We in had, the hallways? No, I mean, oh the Black 13 was just completely packed. That's we had cool. put out, um, yeah. Doi had put out some... Uh, handwritten messages to everybody so it like was received really really well yeah. that he'd take the time to do that stuff so that is cool super cool Fire. we've done two today Goggin Ryan Thomas it was cool. We had a good time. Fluorescence. Have you used Lucas paints? If you haven't, um, Jerry's out around on East Nashville on Main Street. Has these Lucas acrylics. And they have oils too, which I use all the time. These are fluorescent. Um, this is fluorescent lemon yellow and fluorescent signal red. And uh, if you go in there and you get some of this, just say, hey, the guys on Make It Perfect said to come in to Jerry's Artorama and buy the paint. Take a nap. Beam me up, Scotty. So if, you, so if I can ask you some superlative questions as far as like your favorites around the world, are there tattooers like any tattooers around the world that you respect their work and also their personality as a person that you've met? That's, um, is that tough to answer? <clears throat> no, it's not okay, tough to answer. Cool. It's really, really easy to answer. Cool beans. Um, obviously from a distance, you always can appreciate yeah. the value of, the, of their tattoos, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but sometimes you meet them <laughs> a little and diff. you are so disappointed yeah. Yeah, in, dude, totally. in, in what they are, who they are. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had tattoos from people that, I like stylistically, mm -hmm. and then over time they turn to be not the best character or person. Copy. So I've just lasered them off. Oh no, joke! Or covered them. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, just because I like incredible. That's a connection. It's a it's a it's huge like a soul connection, bond. especially when they're dude, very large dude. tattoos. You know, God. it's the experience for me just as much as it is the collection of the the tattoo, and I feel like I still am a client when it comes to that. You know, totally, I, totally. I feel, I feel like a lot of people that get tattoos are, are, aren't like that, especially when it comes to tattoos. Sure, sure. You know, they kind of mm -hmm. forget what it's like to be that client. Um, <sighs> what a, and I still really like getting tattooed. You do? Yeah, I oh, love getting dude. tattooed. God. Um, I know most people don't feel that way. Man, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, there's a ton of tattooers out there that uh, I'll look up to in terms mm -hmm. of like their technical aspect, their artistic aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and then the people that I meet, you know, you, you either dig them and yeah they dig you or Jive you just or don't get along with them you yep. know totally man. i think it's pretty obvious there's a ton of egos involved but <sighs> i i'm not really in that sure you know I, don't, I think tattooing art is still looked at as pretty lowbrow compared to so interesting um fine art yeah you know? i've heard that too um what and do you I think, think about that i mean i think most tattooers think that too sure you know sure. most tattooers mm -hmm. aren't going to think that their stuff is fine art or mm. 
call the, the, the price tag that fine art should. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and I guess for me, it's more like I'm just making it kind of for me yeah. when it comes to the painting. So yep. if somebody else happens to like it, then it's butter. Cool, you yeah, know what I mean? totally. Man. But if not, it's a release from tattooing and not being the precision that some of the tattoos take. It's yeah. like, like we were saying earlier, just you just get outside of it, you know, get outside free. of this. Yeah. The, the freedom less strict. Mm. So, yeah. And also I asked you, um, well, actually we were talking about if there was a serious parallel from your tattooing to your paintings. And you were saying earlier, what were you saying earlier about how um, it was, maybe it was separate? I feel like, I feel like at, at the beginning it was really separated. Okay, and okay, then, that was it, yep. Um, recently I feel like there's been more of a connection between it. I don't know if that mm -hmm. the roads of painting and the roads of tattooing are kind of crossing at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously there's the approach, the way I approach a, a painting is very tattoo. Like I, sure. I draw it, I line it. I put yeah. all the black in it and then I do all the color, just like a tattoo where this is so foreign to me. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 um, yeah. It's awesome. Dude. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's definitely those parallels, but mm. there's definitely times where I wish it would go back to the looser direction as opposed to the precision mm -hmm. that I'm kind of doing these days. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you can't, do, do you feel it like it would be tough to let that achieve that again? No. Okay. Cool. No, I cool. just think it's, I think it's painting more. You there you know? go. Sure. Um, yeah. Cause sure. the majority of painting I'm doing right now is just timeline painting where I'm mm -hmm. trying to create a print to, to either sell at conventions yep. or, um, a paint trade that I have <laughs> probably long overdue. Uh, we all know, got them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's so cool. Man. yeah, I, w I wish, I wish it would just loosen up a little and, I think it's pretty easy for me to do that. It's just a matter of just saying this painting is going to be a lot more loose than the other ones. Sure, you know? sure. And that's the, the amount of control that it takes to be a tattooer. People, I, I think people don't realize, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think what most people think about it, what most people think about it is that it's kind of just us coloring on people. Ugh. But yeah. to be attentive for four, eight hours on the same thing. Oh my God. With them watching. With them watching, constantly watching and the precision. And all this shit happening. Completely. My um, God, dude. It's, it's exhausting. I bet. And I'm not the greatest communicator when I, sure. when I tattoo. I don't mm -hmm. talk to a ton of my clients, but that's just, you can either have a conversation or you can have a better tattoo. <laughs> and I prefer a <laughs> better tattoo. Yeah, um, yeah, totally, man, totally. That's and good. thankfully, some of my coworkers that sit near me, they uh, they engage Chime in conversation in. That's good. with my clients because they know I'm not very I'm not very good at it. <laughs> oh man, they are yeah. they are they're the best. I don't even know how you because there's talk about the expectation that happens when you're tattooing and and whenever I I've been in a tattoo shop and I hear someone saying are are you, do you think you could or are are we gonna, yeah. Or can you think, you, I, I've done that. You think I, they do that to their doctors? Uh, Could you well, move yeah. this yeah. needle a little bit further Over on here. my vein and, and draw the blood right there? <laughs> yeah, we're right. not going to say that, you know? <laughs> yeah, because they There's, really don't even know. They say it to us. But yeah. I think a lot of that has to do with that little bit of control factor that they still mm. want. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I can understand that, too. Yeah. Oh, I can totally. That for sure. Especially don't, if it's permanent. somebody. Yeah, it's, ah. it's permanent. Especially if it's somebody that's not heavily tattooed, yeah. Because those people, yeah. you know, find themselves being a little bit more of a of a control freak, mm -hmm. which I totally understand. Yeah, dude. And they're usually the most excited people to get tattooed. People that are heavily tattooed have kind of. I'm over this. Let's yeah, do it. and they they become well. like desensitized to yeah. having so many tattoos, where it's just not Man. that big of a deal anymore. You spend eight. Mm -hmm hours drawing something or four hours drawing something and four hours tattooing it and then you get up and look in the mirror and they're just like cool and you're like what, what cool you yeah. know that that's girl, all yeah that tourist over there just got a boot and she, <laughs> and they are so stoked you know and i just made this beautiful yeah. thing for you massive thing yeah. and you yeah. can care less about it uh, at this point. get out of my chair man no i'm yeah. playing have you ever had to boot anybody out um we've asked people to <clears throat> leave because of like you know 
answering their phones and behavior mm-hmm. in the in the shop. I think mm-hmm. you know people think these days it's just as a casual tattoo shop. Yeah. But like I said before, the precision that you're doing and anything else, the distraction around you could really <laughs> take you out of what you're trying to accomplish and like answer their phone while they're getting tattooed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. You know how much people are in their phones these yeah. days. This and me included. Jesus constant. peace. And yeah, if dude. you drop that while you're getting tattooed, and you they always try it, to save it, you know? Oh! Dude, it's horrible. Dude, yeah. So you have to like, <laughs> you're staring at that phone out of the corner of your eye while tattooing and knowing that if they drop that phone, you have to adjust to that. Oh my God, you know? man. I mean, oh man, no An way. involuntary move is, is uh, not that big of a deal. Tourette's, but, dude. Involuntary, but I, I feel like with Tourette's, you, you'd almost probably feel it. Yeah. Like we're bearing down on you, so if, it actually There's, suppresses it a little bit. Really? Yeah, a little bit. Like when somebody just twitches, yep. you just feel almost like a small tremor. Totally. And then the big twitch. Yeah. But when Ooh. somebody voluntarily moves for something, yeah. you're like. Do you ever, is there a point where you just got so frustrated that. Yes. Yeah, copy, yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of that, yeah. man. Uh, certain cu- like couples have come in <sighs> and like their little PDA. Yeah. Uh, while you're getting. Wh- t- while they're te- getting Like rubbing tattooed. them down and shit? Yeah, I mean. I'm into it. Nothing, <laughs> nothing crazy erotic, but you're just like, man, yeah, right. just save it. Yeah, just save right. it for after. Yeah. Save it for later. Save it for a time when you're not. Or when you're walking out the damn door. <laughs> under this. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. dude. I hand it to you all, man. All, all tattooers that really take their stuff seriously, man. Like, that's, I don't, I, I, I can't understand how the art world looks at it as lowbrow. Uh, that's not what I mean. No, I can. I can see it, but it's like the amount of, dude, you're doing real time commissioned work, like you said, for hours at a time under, the, under their eyeballs. Mm-hmm. That is power. That is power, man. Damn. I don't know yeah. if I could do it, man. Well, I mean, anyway. it takes a while to. And rightfully so, eh? Yeah. To get to do it and then just um, to be comfortable at all. Right. Maybe in general, the lowbrow kind of comment uh, is mm-hmm. directed at looking at the art and just seeing, mm-hmm. oh, that doesn't look like they would uh, or something or mm-hmm. what some kind of comment like that and ignoring the like process what, oh, of the what process. it takes yeah. to create yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Because that's good. that's For sure. an important part of all Yeah, because art. I still think there's people out there that just Big think time. we pull Big time. things off the internet. <sighs> and while that Some do, right? still happens, yeah. Yeah. But... You know, you'll have your drawings up in your station or something like mm. that, and people, did did you draw that? And you're like, how else did it get there? <laughs> how else is it getting on you? <laughs> of course I drew it, you know? Yeah, it right. Thanks for asking. to draw it, you know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. gives us free shoes because they're badass and we wear them all the time and we wear them on the show and we talk about them. You know why? Because they're the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Luke, do you love them? Definitely love them. Ryan Lane loves them. And you know what? If he loves them, he loves everybody. So you might love them. Lems out of Colorado, buy their shoes. They're comfortable as a mother trucker. Luke, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. Late, obviously, you like making and then selling better Fuck because yeah, you're, not, dude. you're not restricted. I had one. I had a dude not like it two months ago. Remember that, Luke? When old, you do that, are you yeah. taking mm-hmm. money up front? I do. I like take half deposit? up front. I take half up front. And then if they don't like it, they still pay me. They still pay. Oh you. yeah, for sure. Okay. When I deliver it, they pay me. Because yeah. especially if they say, "Just, I just want you to do what you do." Do whatever. Want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great until I bring it over and you're like don't they know that they're buying a piece yeah. of what you're doing I know you dude. know it, it oftentimes it's what they want to see I'm sure you got get that shit too um, oh my god yeah yeah and it would wear me out bro. thankfully yep you know when you create 
a clientele over a long period of time. Mm. People and there's enough information online and stuff like that, so like people know what they're getting. That's um, good. So if somebody comes and says I, they want a a Japanese dragon or something, mm -hmm. there's in, in a spot on an arm. There's only so many ways we can do it, and that's yeah. We kind of hash Ooh. that stuff out ahead of time. Oh, that's good. So if like you start being so. I don't know, micromanaging about yep. like, you want a claw here and a claw here. There's a structure to that. Totally. To, <laughs> to the that body. Dragon. Yeah. And that I mean, dragon body. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And wow. for people that, you mm -hmm. know, micromanage us when it comes to stuff like that, I understand like the small stuff mm -hmm. because that might be the only tattoo they're ever going to, to get. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good way to look at that. Wow. <laughs> Have awesome. you ever had somebody straight up just tell you right when they looked in the mirror, I do not like this? This on camera yeah just do, um, just do it just do it just do it just do it yes it's good yes unfortunately oh. what was that like uh it's like the most heart dropping feeling oh, I bet, you could dude. possibly think about i mean i'm sure there's people out there that probably don't take it as serious right uh as far as the tattooers go and mm -hmm. they're not affected by it but i'll definitely take that stuff home with me and and be <sighs> super bummed yeah. i mean we try to express so much of the information that we have mm -hmm. that, most of it is the mistakes that we've made by getting tattooed. You know what I mean? Wait, wait, say it again. Most of the information that we're trying to pass to somebody is the mistakes that we made. So Got it's it. It's more knowledge yep. of the mistake than knowledge of the tattooing. No shit. Because they really can't. They can't. Uh, they can't relate to the knowledge of the tattooing. Yep. So you're trying to turn the knowledge of getting a bad tattoo. Like the wisdom. The wisdom. Wow, that's you know cool. I mean? Like I have yeah. a bunch of bad tattoos. Yeah, Most tattooers have a bunch of bad yeah. tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. So why wouldn't you take our advice on not getting a bad tattoo? And but I know what I want. Okay, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. That happens. Wow. Um, listening to their friends, that happens. Uh, like, Man, you guys aren't even gonna be friends in 20 years. <laughs> Dad, did you get That's legitimate. Yeah, I don't know if you can put that on. There. That is good. No, it's so good, dude. That's like so a good. jerk, but. Nah, dude. Come up. Oh, we were talking about Whole Foods. Yeah. And, uh, well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, how we met? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I was working at Whole Foods in uh, Green Hills. And, uh, you know, you get, a, you get a bunch of different people, but you get a certain type of clientele at Whole Foods. <laughs> oh, and then that leads me to Starbucks. Okay. So, so I, I always paid attention to the people that I thought look cool or like I could talk to or relate to. And, and Ryan would come through with his fam and, uh, and uh, you know, it's just a quick interaction that is electrically charged because Whole Foods is a damn machine when you're bagging groceries. So I was like, you know, and I found out that you were a tattooer there and um, over at Black 13, somebody told me that, was, that I was working with. And so, you know, you just want, people to feel comfortable and honestly think you're cool and like, just like be customer service vibes. You know what yeah. I'm saying, dude? Yeah. So that's how we met, man. And, and uh, I remember you come in, dude, this is badass. I didn't know you were a tattooer the first time. He paid with cash over there, dude. <laughs> and I was like, I saw this dude pay with cash and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here, yeah. dude? I think that's the look so I good. got from everybody else in there and <laughs> everybody in the line behind oh, me. Oh yeah. Anybody that identifies, looks at me, and Surely. I pay with cash. I think there's <laughs> this probably, dude sells some yeah, droogers. Yeah. Oh man, that's so good. That is so Which, good. That's that's cool. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not living on I'm not living on credit. You know. Yeah. I mean? Hey man. Hey man. I got a little bit of that out there. I don't want to be a part of the machine that much. Yeah. I need to be more careful, dude. Well, I think we paid some debt off. I'm pretty happy about that. That just went in a weird spot. Freaking well, crushing it. Yeah, yeah dude. Who are you yeah. talking to? You. you. Oh, yep. I, I was hoping uh, he was man. saying that to me. God dang it. I really didn't yeah, know dude. what else to do. It's great. I'm surprised man. I didn't do a snake. Ah. Uh, but whatever. I love that you're getting into the foliage and all that. Like you really, you're constructing right. it. It's great. I love looking at like uh, mm -hmm. old Japanese wood blocks of flowers oh, and yeah. any, anything ancient like that that has the timelessness that <laughs> that art form has. Right. I just think it's cool. Is there any, are there any um, types of tattooing that you, let me, what, what, let me ask this question correctly. Um, I know that you do, you do what you do, 
And, yeah. And, and, and I love that. That's the, that's the artist, you know. But is there any type of tattooing or artwork that you have thought about delving into through your tattooing? Other types of artwork? Um, I've been wanting to get back into printmaking. Oh, okay. Which really is cool. not because of my tattooing. Mm -hmm. I've, only because I've seen a lot of tattooers that maybe I follow or pay attention to mm -hmm. that have recently got back into that. Yeah. Um, and I did a lot of that in college. And yeah. it was just super, super fun. I just don't know that I have the time to even start thinking about something exterior other sure. than, than drawing for tattoos and appointments and then normal family life. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> a young lady that I work with, Courtney, she just mm -hmm. started taking a ceramics class. Cool. Which I think is like super kind of inspiring to step outside of mm -hmm. tattooing. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think there's something you can bring back to all of it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't figure out how to bring back something that you learn in another art form to what you're main focus is then I think you're missing a lot of the point at, you know mm -hmm. does that mm -hmm. make sense yeah no I, I think it does from that I get like I think if mm -hmm. I were to show you how the process of a tattoo went from like A to B mm -hmm. you'd be able to take something yeah back. and apply it somewhere a, else so, maybe oh that's good you know? yeah that's great man totally just the, just increasing the knowledge yeah maybe that's but cool. yeah, printmaking, I did a lot, a lot of that in college, and I would love to do it again. <laughs> man, I'm trying. I don't even, I'm lost here, man. I'm lost in this, man. Lost I don't in the know painting? where the hell I'm going, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> it's just, I mean, fuck it. Would know? that work in this scenario? No. It probably, <laughs> it probably wouldn't to flip it. Oh, man. I don't know. They grow Dude, weird. you're nailing it, man. I don't know about you're that. I think so. I'm just trying to look like I know ah. what I'm doing, but I know I don't. So you said you normally, when you paint, you normally use watercolor? Yeah, the majority of, well, all, I shouldn't say the majority, all the paint I use is watercolor, <laughs> yeah. I paint with a lot of tattoo ink. Mm, <clears throat> no way. Yeah, which, for the process uh. that I have, a lot of watercolor rewets. Uh -huh. So I don't want it to rewet. I want the black to be as black as possible, and obviously when it rewets it, <clears throat> kind of stains everything else and mm -hmm. I hate that look in watercolor and I was never able to get it down where it didn't do that mm -hmm. so I just started doing all my painting all the black is just tattoo a really really crappy tattoo ink mm. um, <clears throat> but once it's there it's there so it makes that second layer super easy to to not worry about it almost like applying a tattoo I guess mm -hmm. you know put the black in and then go from there does it, does the, does the tattoo ink, how does it translate onto the watercolor paper? Honestly, just like a liquid acrylic or a no watercolor. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It's I didn't just even know that. so heavily concentrated though. Yeah. You know, you, if you, you don't need a lot of it to go a long way. Mm -hmm. um, like a gouache type of thing? Yeah. Be like, okay. Yeah, okay. like a gouache. Um, obviously it's messy, so a, mm -hmm. lot, a lot of people <laughs> spit shade. Drennan when they does do watercolor, that. He does yeah, that. And you do that. You do that with tattoo ink and bad news. I mean, yeah, probably no ingesting way. that stuff as if it's not bad enough. Oh. You know? Yeah, fair. Um, yeah, true. Good lord. And it, you end up going to get groceries, and you got black paint all over your mouth or something. <laughs> it's happened before. What's this dude been doing? <laughs> yeah, you said Drennan does it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, uh, I and I think he does that with the. Uh, uh, liquid acrylic yeah but he spit shades yeah it. most people do it it's just faster to just constantly yeah. go back and forth and reduce the amount God. you know the concentration of it with just your saliva i guess yeah Which, i always every time he does it i'm like why the fuck do you keep doing that He's, he does it he just yeah. smiles at me you know it's gross <laughs> that's funny man maybe that's you should funny. start trying to that out on your oh. paintings ryan <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> using no some enamel paint and stuff yeah so how has it been uh, different using the acrylic? Is it, yeah. Does it work differently? Yeah. Or do you feel I mean, like you It gives you the ability to be really, really loose. Cool. I know I'd probably be restraining myself and really tightening things up at this mm -hmm. point if I was using watercolor. But I don't, I don't watercolor like a fine art. I don't do light to dark. You know, I, I mm. line the whole thing. And then fill. And then fill. That's so cool. it's just like yeah. tattooing, you know, I line mm -hmm. black and then, and then the color. So yeah. um, this gives you the ability to be loose. Do you like it? Yeah. You having fun? Yeah, just like, cool. oh, totally. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Good, 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 good. Absolutely. Like we were saying earlier mm -hmm. with that, how can I get my painting back to a looseness that's not like tattooing so yeah. that it can be that hobby and not a 
part of work. Yeah, you know? totally, man. Yeah. yeah. I did a commission for a mm -hmm. guy mm -hmm. and I screwed it up. God damn. Um, What'd you do to it? Uh, what do you think you did to it? I used, you know, liquid mask, watercolor. It's like you paint on, it's clear. And then oh, you can paint over that. it and then rub it off. And like the paper will still show through. Oh, no way. So I tried to use a marker instead of a paintbrush. Okay. And just like a Sharpie on watercolor paper, it got fatter. Ah. It like bled. Okay. So I used it in the veins of these leaves. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because I normally mm -hmm. do my leaves first. It's the first thing I knock out because mm -hmm. they're easy. Mm -hmm. And my wife was like, maybe you should just use the paint because you're used to it. And I was like, it's a marker. It's so much more controllable. Sure. I'm on speed here. I want to get this thing done. Yep. Uh, it was crazy size, 36 by 10. Oh. Big, big, odd size painting. He wanted right. two of them. Damn. And uh, I did the whole thing, wiped it off. And then when I painted over top of it, whatever it was left this weird residue uh, in the watercolor. So it almost looked like you could look at the, the, a leaf and it mm -hmm. looked like there was an oil spill. Oh, no so it was way. like this weird residue. And it was the very last thing. And I probably had 30 to 45 hours into this painting. It was a snake. It's yeah. a, every single scale was heavily rendered and faded. Oh, Big painting was cool. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't, I couldn't sell it to him for what we agreed upon. It wasn't in me. I contacted him and I was no, like, I appreciate that. I got to start over, man. And That's he, real. And honestly, he yep. probably would have never even known. But your soul but I couldn't could sit with it. I yeah. could tell. Oh, you know? that's good. Um, yeah, that's good. That's so good. I still owe him a commission. Thankfully, sure. he, he, he doesn't pay sure. me or anything like hey, that. Hey, that's cool. Which is yeah, cool because totally I can't cool. handle that kind of stress. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, that's a different so stress. to put that amount of work into something and then do it like that. Yeah. Over. Which. Thankfully, I was able to just sell it to somebody else, but awesome. not obviously Great. for what yeah. I had into it. Totally, um, man. And it totally. was more kind of like a, um, somebody I appreciated mm -hmm. and wanted to give me money just a little bit for it. That's cool. So man. that was cool, but it bummed me out that I used that. God. Um, Did you know when you started using it that was there an intimation that you might have a problem? I, I go through that sometimes if I try something new on a commission. No. No. Cool. I wish I did because had sure, I known, sure. I probably would have just stopped Damn immediately man. as opposed to doing it. But I think at one point, I probably knew that it wasn't going the direction. And I knew I was just so too far deep in. into it. Yeah. Totally, dude. And I, I think what I then tried to do is I tried to fix it by going in and doing mm -hmm. exactly what I was trying to use the liquid mask for and save myself time. Oh. And um, go in and paint negatively paint all the veins in the leaf mm -hmm. and it was just so time overworked consuming. kind of totally yeah yeah because yeah, especially yeah. with that uh tattooing for mm -hmm. watercolor it'll start to build up on paper oh okay and get very shiny oh, like no joke. And watercolor doesn't obviously kinda so just, yeah, yeah it settles yeah. into it yeah um wow so so yeah it, that's stressful he wouldn't have known but i knew and i couldn't i couldn't do it i appreciate I, I was that bummed. dude and just recently have yeah. i started painting again after that because I think I had so much into it, I was mm -hmm. just over it. Why stop? Yeah, Damn, why stop? Dude. But it, it made me not want to paint for a while. Oh, I know that feeling, bro. And I try not to paint a ton during the summer, just mm -hmm. be outside with the, yeah. the kids and hang. Where do you all like to hang? Like, what do you all like to do? Our front yard. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Heck yeah, perfect. Yeah. Dunzo. We, uh, that's great. We put turf in our front yard. Oh, that's sweet. Artificial turf. Yep. It was nothing but shitty grass. Yep. So we put all this art, me and my wife dug it all out last summer, put all this artificial turf down. So now the kids can play on it constantly. That's awesome. And they're always outside playing. And Tearing it up. Yeah. Dude, I love me some fake grass, dude. That's dude, it stuff. looks good. So it, it always looks Heck good. Yeah. yeah. And people are like, man, your grass looks great. And I'm like, it's fake, man. <laughs> my you daughters know what they're talking about when it comes oh, that's, to that stuff. Have, they, have you seen any interest in them in, in, in art or tattooing or anything they like that? Come in, they come in a few times a week mm -hmm. and they get cool. stencils. I make them stencils probably three or four times a week. That's cool, man. And they have like school pictures where they have like residue on their arm of like eagles or stuff. Oh, I love that, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool. But great. yeah, I mean, I remember... That's They've cool. always been around it. They've always been around tattooed people too. That's so. cool, man. Man. I remember like the first time both of them, like when they were babies. Yep. And I was like ah, changing a diaper, hanging out with them. And they noticed the difference between normal skin and, and my skin. tattooed oh, skin. Oh, like, how can, interesting. It was just something clicked. Something clicked oh, in that's like neat. their eyes. Like obviously they don't 
and not focusing like right off the bat. So you can definitely tell the difference of when mm-hmm. they're looking at something yeah, and when they're yeah. just they're, the vagueness of skin. Oh, that's yeah. cool. It's cool. Wow. How yeah. old? How old? Like, what did Man, you think? Man, it was probably somewhere that? in like the yeah. like nine months stage. Wow, no way. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. And like I said, they've always been around it. So I think sure. being exposed to it constantly helps them yeah. with that. Damn. Cool. Ryan, we're going to close up. Thank you, dude. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you much. This is a good time. I appreciate so how can you. people find you as if they already don't know? Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Um, Ryan Thomas, Black 13 Tattoo, black13tattoo.com. Uh, Insta world, uh, Ryan Thomas B13. Email? Uh, Ryan Thomas at black 13 tattoo.com. Got it. That's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Hey, make it perfect. Subscribe if you're interested in the things that we do here and just subscribe even if you're not, cause we might hit that button in you also make it perfect show on Instagram, make it perfect show, gmail.com. Um, why don't you have some ice cream tonight for dessert after dinner or some shit like that? Thanks. Free chips.